Joining us on Blitz are a pair of the Lady Indians here at Stevens County. We have Mari McNeil, the lone senior on the team this year, and then Lindsey Moore, junior guard, both guards on the team. Uh, girls, first of all, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so Mari, we'll start with you. Uh, being as the, the lone senior, pressure's on you this year a lot, I'm sure, right? Carrying that load. But uh, how bittersweet is it for you as a senior? You go in, everything, you, you kind of look at it through the lens of, oh, this is my last first practice. This is my last first game, that kind of thing. Uh, talk about that and the anticipation of this senior year for you. I mean, it's I feel I don't really feel that you know like bittersweet type stuff. I feel mm -hmm. like probably for my last game, I'm like, oh yeah. snap, yeah. it's gonna hit. But like for my first game, I'm just gonna go out there, you know. Do your thing. Do us, yeah. you know, game plan. Yeah, that's all. Are you pretty uh, hyped up though going into this yeah, year? Yeah, I'm very hyped up because you know it's your senior year. You know, you yeah. just want to go out there and ball. Yeah, <laughs> and hopefully stay healthy. That's yes. that's the key. I hate to see when a senior goes down for injury. Anybody really, but your senior year, you gotta you gotta live it up. So, Lindsay, for you, um, you're one of those players. I don't think you ever have an off season. You just play year round. So, talk about um, you know in this prior summer, even before that, since the last season ended. Talk about kind of the work that you've put in and building up for this year and maybe certain areas of your game you've been working on the most. Um, the main thing I've been working on is like my ball handling because mm -hmm. that was one weakness that I had. And I've been going to like a bunch of camps and stuff with the team mm -hmm. and I also went to the Bahamas. Cool. Yeah, so putting in a lot of hard work for those who don't understand that, you know, basketball season doesn't just start in November. You're you're playing pr pretty much since the season ended last year. So uh, maybe take a little time off. But uh, so, Mari, for you, um, this program hasn't been to state in about five years. So for you, you, you know, you weren't in this program at the varsity level during that time. But uh, what would that mean for you personally to, to get this team over the hump, get back in the state playoffs? What would it mean for you and for this program? That would probably be the biggest achievement for us to make it into the playoffs because that's our main goal. That's mm -hmm. everybody's main goal. When you start off, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make this state. You want to yeah. make it to state. You don't want to, you know, all of a sudden, boom, you're down. You're like, oh, man. But, yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty big for us if we make it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Lindsay, for you, uh, in light of that, being that one, that is one of the team goals is to get back there, and like you said, every team wants to do that. But uh, what has the team focus and emphasis really been on building up to this season? Like, what are the things that – Coach Baker's been telling you as a team, like we need to, if we're going to make this happen, we got to do this and this. Um, one thing is we got to focus on one game at a time. Don't jump ahead to like a region game first. You mm -hmm. got to focus on every game. Yeah. Um, so Mari, uh, this is a five-team region. So, mm -hmm. you know, that having that goal to make state, um, it's not any easier at all. But it, it, it's in your mind, it's like, hey, we have a, a higher percentage chance as a lot of other regions where you have so many teams, but. Uh, that's still tough to do, but how do you get in a position as a team where you don't get complacent on, hey, we, all we have to do is be one of the top four out of five and change that mindset to be like, hey, we, we don't care about being top four. We want to just be the best we can be. I mean, because what Lindsay said, yeah, Coach Baker has like, we have this new thing where we're saying we're taking it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're really going to, you know, focus on. We're not focused on like on any other games. Like we want to be the best. Everybody want to be the best. Yeah. And just because it's five people in our, you know, five teams in our region, we want to be on top. Yeah. That's just our game plan this year, to yeah. be on top. Yeah, and if you take care of that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Yeah. So that's the good thing. So, Lindsay, you kind of run out this interview. Talk about, uh, I understand there's, there's uh, this roster is built of primarily juniors and the lone <laughs> seniors. So, um, so still a fairly young team, but a lot of experience as well. What's the team chemistry like on and off the court? Um, we have a really great bond because we've been playing together for a very long time since there's a lot of us, so mm -hmm. we all know each other, and yeah. Yeah, well, that will surely pay dividends this year on the court because yeah. the closer you are on and off the court, it's going to hopefully result in some, some W's there. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you girls rack, rack up the wins this year and, and get back in the state playoffs, and uh, that would be a huge accomplishment for you as a senior to be the, the one senior that <laughs> helps get this done. So. Uh, Looking forward to a great season. Thank you girls so much again for your time. Thanks for having us. Thanks.